So are you also still extracting the details from import and export documents manually? Then this video is definitely for you. So hello all, welcome back to Pabli Connect and in this video we are going to understand how to use AI to extract import export documents data from PDF to Google Sheets. So over here I am also running a business where we regularly are involved in import and export and we receive the documents for the same. So now what we do is we simply type manually all of these details from these documents into Google Sheets. But this is such a time consuming and a prone to error task. So to solve this problem I have simply created this amazing automation where what is going to happen is that whenever I am just going to add a file in my Google Drive which is the import export document automatically my AI agent is going to extract the details from that document and add them into Google Sheets. That too without any manual efforts. So to do this we are simply going to create a connection between Google Drive my AI agent which is open AI and then Google Sheets and to create this connection without knowing any programming or coding language we are going to use Pabli Connect it is an amazing automation software so if you also want to create this amazing automation for your own business then for that you have to come with me towards my screen welcome to my screen so in this tutorial I'll show you how to use an AI agent to extract the key details from import export documents like the invoice number, the port of loading, the receiver's company, receiver's address and the container number. From the PDF automatically records are going to be added into your Google Sheets. It's a powerful way to reduce the manual entry and minimize the manual errors and speed up your trade documentation workflow. So to get started we have to open the landing page of Pabli Connect and in order to open the landing page of Pabli Connect we simply have to open a new tab and then we have to search in the browser. What we have to search is pabli.com slash connect. So I'm simply going to search for pabli.com slash connect in my browser and now it is opening the landing page of Pabli Connect and after opening the landing page of Pabli Connect we are going to get two options. One is sign in and the another one is sign up for free. So if you are a new user you can click on this sign up for free and you are going to get 100 of tasks free every month to explore the application. But over here I am a new user so I am simply going to click on this button which says sign in and as soon as we are going to click on this sign in it is opening all Pabli apps and over here you can see all the tools and applications offered by Pabli but in today's video we are going to use Pabli connect because we are connecting different applications. So I am simply going to click on this access now right over here to access my Pabli Connects account and as soon as we are going to click on this access now it is opening my dashboard and to start with this automation we simply have to click on this button which says create workflow and now it is asking me for the workflow name and the folder I want to save the workflow in. So over here I want to save the workflow in this folder which says automations and on my dashboard you can see multiple folders which I have already created in which I save my workflows. So if you also want to create a new folder you can go to it's this plus sign given right over here and create your own. I have already created multiple folders so I have selected one from this and I am just going to name my workflow right over here as how to use an AI to extract import export document data from PDFs to Google Sheet and then we are simply going to click on this button which says create and as soon as we are going to click on this create it is opening the most important window of our automation which is our workflow window. So this is the most important window because we have trigger and action in this. Trigger and actions are the two main principles on which our workflow is going to run. Trigger means when this happens and action means do this. So by this you can understand that the actions are response towards the commands given by a trigger and that's the particular reason that we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of a trigger in a particular workflow. And to get started we are simply going to select our trigger application. So for my trigger application I'm simply going to select it as Google Drive because what I want is that whenever I upload the import export document in this Google Drive automatically my workflow should be triggered. So I'm simply going to search for Google Drive and select it right over here. And now for the trigger event I'm simply going to select it as new file in specific folder. So over here you can see that I have created a specific folder which is import slash export documents right. So that's why I've selected this new file in a specific folder which is this. And now I'm simply going to click on this button which says connect. And now it is asking me to add a new connection or select an existing connection. And now if you have already connected
connected your Google Drive account with your Public Connects workflow, you can simply click on this select existing connection and then save. But if you haven't, you have to follow me, click on add a new connection and now we have to click on this blue button which says sign in with Google. And as soon as we are going to click on this sign in with Google, over here Pabli is asking me to select my Gmail account. And over here it is asking me to select my Gmail account with the help of which I want to connect my Google Drive account. Alright, so I'm simply going to select my Gmail account right over here. And now Pabli is asking me for some permissions. So what we're going to do is I'm simply going to click on this allow and give Pabli all the permissions it is asking for because my data is secure with Pabli. You can also click on allow Pabli is safe and as soon as we're going to click on this allow with this we have successfully connected our Google Drive account with our Pabli Connects workflow. And now it is asking me for the folder for which I want to create this automation. So over here for the folder which I want to create this automation is import slash export documents. So I'm just going to select the same which is import slash export documents. And after selecting this folder, we simply have to click on this blue button which says save and send test request. But before clicking on this blue button, I'm just going to let you know a really important step. So you have to open your Google Drive account and you have to make this folder a shareable one. And you must be wondering how are you going to make this folder a shareable one. So you have to go towards this folder name over here. There's an option of share and then you have to go towards this share and after coming over here towards the share you have to give the general access of anyone with the link and editor so it is really important to make this folder a shareable one otherwise your AI agent will not be able to access the documents all right which you add in this folder so as you can see that I have already given it the general access of anyone with the link and editor right so I'm simply going to click on this done right over here and with this we have successfully made this folder a shareable one and after making this folder a shareable one we can click on this save and send test request but before clicking on the save and send test request I'll just let you know that Google Drive is a pooling based application so pooling based application means that these application will not check for new data instantly they are going to take some amount of time to check for the new data and over here in the case of Google Drive it is saying the trigger will check for new data in 10 minutes so as soon as I'm just going to click on the save and send test request Pavli is going to take 10 minutes to check for new data but now when I'm just going to click on this save and send test request probably is going to capture the last response or the latest response made in my Google Drive account all right so what we're going to do is I'm just going to go towards this new and we are first going to upload the file right over here in a Google Drive account so that we can capture the response for the same so I'm just going to look for the file I want to upload which is a import export document all right so as you can see export doc so I'm simply going to upload this file right over here and as you can see that I've successfully uploaded this this file which is export talk and now after uploading this file we are going to go back towards our workflow and now we can click on this save and send test request and now probably is going to capture the response for the same which we uploaded right now over here in the response you can see that this is the file which we uploaded right now which is export doc right so where you can see that we have received that file details right over here and with this we have successfully completed our trigger step and now what is going to happen is that whenever I'm just going to add a new file in this specific folder within 10 minutes probably is going to capture the response and trigger this workflow and if you also want to reduce or increase this trigger time you can go towards the three dots set trigger time and now from here you can increase or decrease this trigger time I'm just going to keep it as 10 minutes only and move on further now for the action step I'm just going to select my action application as my AI agent which is open AI so I'm simply going to search for open AI and select it as open AI right over here and now for the action event I'm simply going to select it as extract content from PDF slash image and then we are simply going to click on this connect and now it's asking me to add a new connection or select an existing connection so if you have already connected your open AI account with your public connects workflow you can simply click on this select existing connection and then save but if you haven't you have to follow me click on add a new connection and now it's asking me for the token and to enter this token we are simply going to follow the help text and it is saying kindly visit your open AI API key page to get the API key that you need to enter here so I'm simply going to go towards this open AI API key page to get the API key which I need to enter here all right so now after coming over here we have to go towards this create new secret key and now it is asking me for the key name so let's say I'm just going to name this key as extract details so I'm just going to enter extract details right over here as my key name 
and after entering this i'm just going to select the project and after doing both of this we are simply going to click on this create secret key button and now with this we have successfully created our secret key so what we're going to do is i'm simply going to copy this key and then we're going to paste it right over here in our workflow and yes now after pasting this api key we are simply going to click on this button which says save and now it's asking me for the open ai model so i'm simply going to select it as gpt photo mini you can select any another of your choice and now it is asking me for the image slash pdf url so it is asking me for the url of the document with the help of which i want to extract the details so i'm simply going to enter the url right over here in my workflow but we are not going to enter the url manually by copy pasting it or typing it like this but instead we are going to map it so you must be wondering what is mapping so mapping is a method by pabli which means inserting the data from the previous step and as you know our previous step was the trigger step where we selected google drive as our trigger application so we are simply going to map the details from the response of our trigger application only and as soon as we are going to map these details automatically my details will turn dynamic and change with every new response received so i'm simply going to map this web content link right over here for pdf url you have to keep in mind that you only and only have to map this web content link all right now we're going to move on further it is asking me for the prompt so i want the prompt to be this which is i want to extract the details from the given pdf all right so as you can see that i've simply entered the prompt and now we're going to extract the details with the help of this feature which is structured output so over here we have to enter the structured output json object but you must be wondering from where we are going to get this so in the important notes section you can see that it is saying to generate the structured output json navigate to this url so i'm simply going to open this url right over here and then further it is saying click on generate and the prompt and paste the structured output generated right over here all right so i'm just going to click on this generate and now we have to enter the prompt in order to generate this json schema and further we are going to paste that same json schema right over here in our workflow so in order to enter the prompt to generate this json schema i'm just going to open my notepad so over here in the notepad we have to enter the details which i want to extract so let's say first i want to extract the invoice number so i'm simply going to enter invoice number right over here and now after entering what i want to extract i'm just going to enter the format of what i want to extract so the format of invoice number is type of a number right so i'm just going to enter type of a number and now over here i'm just going to give it a little description of what i want to extract like extract and provide the invoice number from the document now i'm just going to add a new line and we're going to add the details which i want to extract one by one right over here so the next detail which i want to extract is the port of loading and this is a type of short text all right so i'm just going to enter type of short text right over here so like this only you have to enter all of these details so i'm just going to enter the format and now i'm just going to enter the description mention the port where the goods were loaded for shipment then we're going to move on further and enter all of these details which i want to extract so as you can see these are all the details which i want to extract the receiver's company the receiver's address and the container number and over here you can see that with this i've successfully entered my prompt so i'm simply going to copy this prompt and after copying this prompt i'm just going to open this open ai structured output page and paste the prompt right over here and after pasting it right over here we are simply going to click on this button which says create and now open ai is going to generate me the json schema and yes you can see that it has successfully generated me the json schema so i'm simply going to copy this json schema and then we're going to paste it right over here in our workflow in this structured output field all right as you can see that i've successfully pasted it and after pasting this we're going to move on further and click on this save and send test request Request. and as soon as we're going to click on the save and send test request the details which we mentioned right over here would be extracted from this document and given right over here as a response so that we can further add that details into our google sheets all right so we're going to wait for a few seconds till my ai agent is extracting the details and yes over here you can see the ai agent has extracted the details you can see over here the invoice number which it has extracted so you can see that this is the same invoice number over here you can see the rest of the details like the port of loading over here you can see the receiver's company the receiver's address and the container number so these are the same details all right you can see you can check that these are the same details which we have had right over here in our 
export document so now i'm just going to map these same details right over here in my spreadsheet too so for that i'm just going to add another action step and now for my action application i'm simply going to select it as google sheets so i'm just going to search for google sheets right over here and then we are simply going to select google sheets right over here as our action application and now for the action event i'm simply going to select it as add a new row and click on this button which says connect and now it is asking me to add a new connection or select an existing connection so if you have already connected your google sheets with your public connects workflow you can simply click on this select existing connection and then save but if you haven't you have to follow me click on add a new connection and now you have to click on this blue button which says sign in with google and after clicking on this button over here pabli is asking me to select my gmail account so i'm simply going to select my gmail account with the help of which i want to connect my google sheets and now pabli is asking me for some permissions so i'm simply going to click on this allow and give pabli all the permissions it is asking for because my data is secure with pabli so i'm simply going to click on this allow with with the help of which we are simply going to connect our google sheets account with our pabli connects workflow and now it is asking me to select the spreadsheet and the sheet so over here you can see the name of my spreadsheet is import export data and the name of my sheet is sheet 1 all right so i'm simply going to select the spreadsheet as import export data and then for the sheet i'm simply going to select it as sheet 1 and now over here i'm just going to map all of these details one by one all right so first i'm just going to map this invoice number then we're going to move on further i'm just going to map this port of loading over here i'm just going to map the receiver's company next i'm just going to map the receiver's address and at the last i'm simply going to map the container number and after mapping all of these details we are simply going to click on this blue button which says save and send us request and yes you can see that we have received a positive response that we have successfully added these details into our google sheets so i'm simply going to open my google sheets and yes you can see the details have been added you can see that these details are exactly the same which we extracted from our export document so yes with this we have successfully completed our workflow and now whenever i'm just going to add a file in this specific folder of my google drive account automatically within 10 minutes this workflow is going to get triggered pabli is going to capture the response for the same further my ai agent is going to extract the details from this pdf and add them into our google sheets that too without any manual efforts all of this will happen in back end and we don't have to come back and again to our workflow to click on save and send test request so now with this we have successfully completed this video and this workflow too and now go and try this amazing automation for your own business and if you have any questions related to the video or the workflow you can directly comment on this video and for your reference i'll just clone this workflow and share the workflow link in the description box so that you can access my workflow i hope this video was helpful for you thank you so not only these applications but with the help of pabli connect you can integrate many more applications so if you have any doubts you can reach us at support at the read pabli.com if you have any queries you can reach us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issues you can follow this website and if you find our videos helpful do like and subscribe our channel thank you for watching